All right, members of the jury, have you uh, elected a foreperson? Would you uh, ask, uh, give your juror number, please? 54. 54, and uh, has the jury reached a verdict as to each count of the information? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Uh, one verdict and one verdict only? Yes. Would you hand all of the paperwork to the bailiff, please? This is the ones that we didn't know. Okay. Uh, everything. Okay. Yeah, thanks. See that too, please, uh, Mrs. Oh, Chairman. Thank you. face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. That's the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? No. Uh, would you wish the jury pulled? No. Okay. Uh, okay, folks, your uh, job is done, and uh, we started just about three weeks ago. And I, uh, caught, I told you it could last two weeks and two days. This is, two week, this is three weeks. Uh, you were a wonderful jury to work with. You were punctual. You were attentive. Um, and the forgotten six over here who had a, a, a very difficult job of uh, keeping from discussing the case during the time that they were sequestered as well. All of you, you just, I, I couldn't have asked for a better jury to work with. And uh, it has truly been my pleasure. Uh, you've, I think, uh, without commenting on your verdict, the verdicts themselves, just in terms of your um, the attentiveness and the cooperation that you gave to us, uh, justifies the confidence that the founders of our country placed in you. So um, I dismiss you at this time. You're never under any obligation to discuss any aspect of this case with anyone. You're welcome to do so as little or as much as you want. Uh, the media have requested, a number of media sources have requested the ability to talk to you and uh, they have been uh, allowed to present uh, presentations to you that you'll get in writing, and it's entirely up to you whether you want to contact, contact them. They are not to contact you. Um, if anyone does contact you and just you know, tell them you're not interested in discussing it, if that's the case, um, and if anyone persists in doing so, uh, report that to us and it will be addressed, I assure you. Uh, at the beginning of the trial, uh, there was some concern about uh, information and, uh, uh, and your safety, and I assure you that we will take every uh, measure to ensure that, that is, uh, your concerns are addressed and respected. Um, and um, I'm going to talk to you for just a minute, not about anything to do with the case, but just about that sole issue, and um, um, you, as I say, you're welcome to discuss the case as little or as much as you want. Um, and um, any questions, anybody? Thank you so much. And uh, you're, um, you're, after four years, you're eligible for service again. <laughs> it would be my pleasure to work with you. Thank you. Yeah. I, yeah.
please. Or in the li they can change the library. It's not going to be more than a minute, or maybe it will be. Well, yeah, take them upstairs. That's fine. That's fine.